rugged coastline, mm -hmm. the roaring seas, nobody about, jagged rocks, the air is cool. Tell me more. Tell me about this place. It's misty, but mm. the mist is purple and blue. Mm-hmm. Let's find out what that mist is all about. Connect with that mist. Where is it coming from? I don't know. It's in the air. Mm -hmm. um, it's the light I see when I meditate. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> As you listen to the, the sound of the ocean, tell me if you feel like you have a body in this place. I feel like I'm above it. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. So I, I don't think I do. So if you're above it, you are able to move. Yes. So let's travel through this place and tell me what you see. <coughs> tell me everything that you see. There's, um, when you come down from the cliffs, there's a beach. Mm-hmm. The light has changed. It's kind of a grayish blue. The water is calmer there. Um, I don't see anyone around. I don't see the sun. Tell me what the sky looks like. It's very thick clouds. Mm -hmm. What color are these clouds? Kind of an indigo, grayish in, with indigo mm -hmm. outlines. Uh, it's just, I just saw a swirl. Mm -hmm. Let's find out what that swirl is. Focus on um, it. I can feel it. Mm -hmm. I can feel its energy. What does it feel like? Um, feels good, actually. Mm -hmm. Connect with that energy. <laughs> it's, it feels warm and inviting and um, it's kind of surrounded me now. Mm -hmm. Connect mind to mind. Let's find out what that is. What is that energy? Um, Trust your I'm first impression. Sure. It might be a guide mm -hmm. or one of my angels. So mm. call out to it with your mind and invite it to express itself. There's some golden light around it. Mm -hmm. Ask for it to appear as something that you can communicate with. I'm not sure if it's there now. Mm -hmm. What do you feel? I'm just kind of floating. Mm -hmm. How does it feel to float? It's very freeing. Mm -hmm. So continue floating and let's see where yeah. you go to. Describe your whole journey. I kind of, I see this rays of light, kind of like a tunnel. Mm -hmm. um, oh. They're swirling a little bit. Mm -hmm. Um, In which direction is it swirling? Uh, clockwise. Mm -hmm. 
but it's very gentle. Do you feel drawn to it? I do. Mm -hmm. um, it's kind of um, purple. Um, what happens next? I'm not. I'm not by the shore anymore. Mm -hmm. Where are you now? I'm not, I'm not really sure. Um, I can see the purple light. Mm -hmm. Let's go towards that purple light. Let's see where it takes you. Describe your whole journey. It's very quiet. What do you feel? It's turned pink. Um, mm -hmm. It feels heavy. I feel like we're waiting for something. Mm -hmm. Do you feel that you're in a place? No. But you're waiting. I'm waiting for something. Mm -hmm. So you can accelerate it and see what appears. What you're waiting for. What do you imagine you're waiting for? I, I, I'm not sure. I think some someone's going to come. Mm -hmm. and everything's turning pink. Mm -hmm. It's almost like I'm underwater. Mm -hmm. Like I can see kelp mm -hmm. or seaweed floating. What else do you see? Mm. Uh, it's like I'm inside a cave looking out mm -hmm. and the water is pink and blue. What color is the cave inside? It's dark. Mm -hmm. But I'm looking out. Something just went by the opening. What does it look like? Um, I only saw a shadow of it. Mm -hmm. oh. Now it's getting dark. Mm -hmm. Let's find out what you're doing in that place. What does it feel like to be in that place? It feels like I'm hiding. Mm-hmm. Let's find out why you're hiding. Do you feel like you have a body there? Um, I'm not sure. I think maybe. Mm-hmm. You can illuminate your body. And take a look at it and see what it looks like. What do you see? Uh, I don't know. Do you feel like you're stationary or swimming? I'm stationary. Mm-hmm. But I don't know where I am right now. Okay. <clears throat> Just adjust yourself, acclimate yourself to that body. And allow the images to come. See what happens next. Use all of your senses. Sometimes you're in a dark place and can't see. And you could turn on a flashlight.
What are you experiencing? not sure mm -hmm. focus on something that you are sure of what are you sure of I feel like I'm trying to get out of something mm -hmm. do you feel you're stuck in something yes mm -hmm. so what emotions are associated with that um, a little bit frustrated mm -hmm. but I feel like I'm trying to, I'm supposed to figure something out. Mm -hmm. Do you feel that you put yourself into this situation or somebody put you in there? Um, I don't know. Mm -hmm. So let's go back in time a little bit. I'd like for you to close that scene and let's find out how you got into this place. Go back before you are in this place and be there now and tell me where you are I'm standing on top of a cliff mm -hmm. what do you look like there I'm very thin clothes are like rags mm -hmm. and blowing in the wind are you male or female? Um, I feel like I'm a little boy. Mm -hmm. I like this place. Nobody's around. How old do you feel there? Um, maybe 11, 10. Mm -hmm. What do you like about this place? There's no noise. Mm -hmm. It's away from people. What's beyond the cliff? I, I thought it was the ocean, but I don't think so. Mm -hmm. It's just um, it's a lot of light and colors. Mm -hmm. I can't see beyond it. Mm -hmm. These these light and colors, do you feel like it has any type of texture to it? It's so um, soft mm -hmm. and um, cloud-like. Mm -hmm. Any, what colors do you see? Grayish blue. Mm -hmm. But there's light behind it. There's a golden light behind it. What do you imagine that golden light is? Um, maybe it's something I'm supposed to know. Mm -hmm. I'm supposed to learn something. So to go deep within yourself, just take a deep breath, go within yourself, and you'll be able to know why you're there and what that light is. I'm trying to connect. Mm -hmm. You don't have to try. You just do. You just trust your first impression and you'll know. What is that golden light? It's um, something very loving, I think. Mm -hmm. And when you stand up on that cliff, what do you feel? I feel separate from it, mm -hmm. but I feel like it's something I'm supposed to be with. Mm -hmm. But I don't don't know how to get there. And I, I don't want to jump. Mm -hmm. So 
let's find out more. Let's close that scene and let's go to another scene in that same lifetime going forward or backwards that will give us the answers to those questions about that life. Be there now. Where are you? You're a crying baby. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. Um, I don't know how to make it stop. I feel like I'm supposed to be taking care of it. Mm -hmm. But I don't know how. Are you the little boy? Yes. Mm -hmm. Who is this baby? I think it's my little sister. Mm -hmm. And where are those that are supposed to take care of her? They're all busy. Um, they're noisy. Mm -hmm. Look around you. What is this place where you are? I think it's a... It's kind of a dark um, house. Mm-hmm, a dark house? Yeah. And it's like they don't know we're here. Mm-hmm. Who doesn't know you're there? Everybody in the other room. Mm-hmm, why is that? They're busy with stuff. I don't, it's, they're loud, and mm -hmm. um, I don't, I think they're arguing. Mm -hmm. Who are they in the other room? Um, I think they're my family, I don't know. So let's find out. I want you to eavesdrop and find out what they're arguing about. Why is it that it's affecting you so much? I think they're talking about money. Mm -hmm. I'm scared. But I always feel like it's my fault. Why is that? I don't know. Connect with them. Connect with their minds. Find out why you feel that way. I think I, I just one more to feed. Mm -hmm. What do you do about that? Do you take on that, those words? I try to help my little sister. Cause I, I don't want her to feel it. Take a look at your little sister's eyes. The eyes of the window to the soul. Tell me if you recognize those eyes. I don't know. Mm -hmm. She's smiling at me. Mm-hmm. So let's find out what happens next. I want you to close that scene and let's go to another scene in that same life where it's affecting you. Something important is happening. Be there now. Where are you? I don't know. Look around you. Use all of your senses. Is this a physical place? I think I'm in a cemetery. Mm -hmm. I think they're gone. Who oh, is this, your parents? I think so. Mm -hmm. How old are you there? Um, 
teenager. Mm -hmm. What is the reason why your parents are gone? What happened? I don't know. I think maybe they were sick. Mm -hmm. Are you by yourself? I am. <clears throat> Are you the only one left in your family? Yes. What happened to your sister? I'm not sure. I feel like she left. Mm -hmm. Did she die too? I don't think so. Mm. So how is that making you feel in that cemetery, knowing that you're alone? Um, it's, I feel torn. Mm -hmm. I feel guilty. Why do you feel so guilty? Because you're supposed to love them. Mm -hmm. But I don't. There's... a kind of a weight lifted. Mm -hmm. So what are you going to do now with your life? I don't know. Um, I need to find people. Mm -hmm. What do they call you there? What is your name? Christopher. Christopher. So Christopher, let's find out what happens next in your life. Close that scene. Let's go to another scene in your lifetime when something is impacting you, something important is happening. Uh, I'm protecting somebody. Mm -hmm. Tell me about that. Somebody was picking on someone. I stepped in and pulled them away. How old are you, Christopher? Oh, twenties. Mm -hmm. How does it feel to, to do that? I feel responsible. Mm -hmm. um, it's what I'm supposed to do. a little boy. He looks like me. Mm -hmm. There was nobody there to take care of you, Christopher, right? No. So now you're doing it for someone else? Yes. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm supposed to do. Mm -hmm. Protect? Yes. Mm -hmm. How else do you protect Christopher? Mostly, I stay away from people. Why is that? Because they can't trust them. Mm -hmm. Where do you go? Um, I spend a lot of time in the woods. Mm -hmm. <laughs> do you have any friends? The animals. Mm -hmm. Let's find out where you live, Christopher. I'd like for you to close that scene and let's see where it is that you live. I built a little um, shelter. Mm -hmm. It's up against the side of a cliff. 
that's oh it's by that cave mm-hmm what's in that cave it's dark mm-hmm sometimes bears go in there do you ever go in there yes I mm -hmm. sleep in there okay how do you feel about the bears? I don't bother them. They leave me alone. Mm -hmm. What do you eat, Christopher? Um, I grow things. Mm -hmm. And I find things in the woods, berries. And mm -hmm. Do you like your life in the woods? It's quiet. Mm -hmm. I like that. Sometimes I feel like I want to use my voice and talk to somebody. You don't talk very often? No. Mm -hmm. Do you ever talk to anybody? I talk to myself. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I go into town and, you know, watch people. What do they think of you? They don't see me. Do you hide from them? Yes. Mm -hmm. So Christopher, let's close that scene and let's find another important scene in your lifetime when it was making an impact on you. Be there now. It's snowing. It's snowing. Mm -hmm. It's very cold. Where are you? I'm in the woods. happening? Uh, I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't get back to my home. It's very cold. I'm just laying down in the snow. What happens next? I don't know. I feel like I gave up. Mm -hmm. So Christopher, I'd like to know what happens to your soul after you leave that body. What happens? I think I lived a good life. Mm -hmm. I tried. I don't know. I just need to rest. Mm -hmm. What lessons did you learn from that life? any harm. Mm -hmm. Do you feel that you you fulfilled that purpose? Sometimes. Mm -hmm. So tell me what happens to your soul now as you leave the body. Where do you go? Take me on the journey. a band of light. Mm -hmm. What color is this band of light? It's like the Milky Way. It's mm -hmm. smoke and blue. Are you going towards that light? I'm Kind of riding on it. And you're riding on it. How does it feel? It's like a soft cushion. Hmm. Let's find out if anybody comes to greet you.
What happens after this? There's a light in the distance. There's a light in the distance. I can see. Oh. It's the outline of Earth. Mm -hmm. I can see the light on the edge of the Earth. Mm -hmm. What does that light look like? Like an aura. Mm -hmm. Do you see it from a distance or you're close yes. by? I'm, I'm, it's from a distance. Mm -hmm. It's getting brighter. I'm glad to be away from it. So much direction are you going now? Are you going away from that? I'm going away from that. Mm -hmm. I see the purple shapes. Describe these yes. shapes. Um, they're round and they're kind of beckoning me. To come with them. They're getting brighter and they're starting to surround me. And they're very welcoming. Mm -hmm. Very welcoming. Yes. How many do you see? They're kind of connecting to each other. Mm -hmm. With they were kind of like donut shaped with a dark center, mm -hmm. but they're moving and evolving and floating around me. And what do you imagine yourself to look like? I think I'm just energy right now. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm tired. I said it's okay for me to rest. Mm -hmm. So where do you go to rest? I don't... I feel like I should know, but I don't know. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like you're resting now? It's too soon. Mm -hmm. um, but I feel relieved. Do they tell you anything? I said I'll be okay. Who are they? Uh, I think they must be my guardians. Mm-hmm. Ask them. Yes. Uh, there. They were sent to guide me back. They said I did a good job. I don't feel like I did. What did they say about that? About your doubt? Because I'm just learning. Mm -hmm. um, it's all part of the learning curve. Mm -hmm. What are you supposed to be learning about? How to help people. Just be 
people are they're stubborn. They don't want to hear. They don't want to listen. Sometimes we choose situations that are too difficult. And we can't figure out how to break through to people. Do you feel that that life was very difficult for you? Yes. You picked a very challenging? Yes. Mm -hmm. And I don't have enough experience. Mm -hmm. But they said that I don't, I don't, I don't want to brag. <laughs> they said I, uh, it was noble of me to choose mm -hmm. that, but maybe not so wise. But I wanted to help. I feel kind of like I failed. Mm-hmm. What do your guides say about that? That I helped just one person even is not a failure. I kind of feel like I want to go back, but it's too soon. Because mm -hmm. um, people need help. People need help now. But I have to learn how to help you. Because I'm not very good at it. Mm -hmm. So let's find out what happens after this. And I'd like for you to see yourself when you're planning your life out as Diana. See yourself with your guides and your counsel as you plan your life. Be there now. I think it's, it's all about can't do it alone. I tried to do it alone. <laughs> How do you have to connect with people? You have to find the other souls. Because you're more powerful together. And you can only save the people who want to be saved. Yes, you still have to try. So what is the plan? Um, well, I have to get the energy back together. I have to find the right souls who have gone to Earth to help. And, and be more trusting of my guides. I don't listen to them. Mm. <laughs> That's the problem. Mm -hmm. I, I don't listen to them. I need to listen better. Because mm -hmm. I'm stubborn. So let's find out who you'll be taking with you in this life of Diana. Let's find out how that came about. How you chose to be in your family and have your friends. Be there now. I, I chose to be with good people who don't know how to deal with being human. Mm -hmm. Uh, my 
heart is so full that it's her it hurts so much when I reach out and are pushed away trying to help mm -hmm. it's hard for me to understand when people do selfish things they mean or they do things just to benefit themselves mm -hmm. and I guess I What to teach them, but I'd forgotten when I came back to Earth. I forgot everything I w once knew. I I knew I was supposed to be doing something to help people, but I didn't know what because I couldn't felt like I couldn't help myself. Mm -hmm. So let's call in one of your guides. Call in one of your guides and let's find out what it is that you were supposed to do. A guide can appear in any form. Let's have that, that guide come forward. Who was your main guide? Michael has always stayed with me. Mm -hmm. I see him all the time. Arch Archangel Michael. So let's find out from Archangel Michael what you were supposed to be doing here. I need to help the people connect with their, their with their higher selves. Mm -hmm. Learn to trust that, and to understand that we're all one. We're all part of each other. We're all connected. is going to help me mm -hmm. learn how to connect and, and trust that people will understand. I try too hard. So what does Michael say about that, about trying too hard? He laughs at me. Mm -hmm. What are you supposed to be doing? What is the best way to connect with people without trying too hard? To trust. Mm -hmm. And uh, I have to learn to let go of the petty things, mm -hmm. anger, jealousy, that kind of attach themselves when you're, when you come to earth, those things attach to you and they're hard to let go. He's going to help me let go of those. Very good. Because those, those are the things that hold it. Those are the things that hold everyone back. Mm -hmm. Would Michael allow me to release some of that anger and jealousy? Yes. All right. So I'm going to put my hand on your chest. And I want you to release all of that anger from all of your DNA, every cell in your body, in this body, and all the other bodies. Your etheric body, your astral body, your mental body. Pull all of that anger and jealousy insecurities let's put it all out 
and have it fill my hand as I send it up to the universe for cleansing. Just breathe it out. And tell me when I have it all. All those insecurities that made you feel not lesser than others. All those feelings of jealousy of not being enough. Knowing that you are enough. Pull it all out. All right, let's pull that out. Send it to the universe. What would you like to put in there now? Love. Let's put lots of love. I'm going to put my hand on your chest. Feel the fire hose of divine love coming through and filling all of your cells of your body. And let's pour in some of that strength, confidence, knowing that you are here on a mission. There is no one else on earth like you. No one else in the universe that can do what you can do. Feel it filling up your entire body with that confidence and love. And I'm going to touch your forehead and we'll seal that in. Very good. What does Michael see now that we have filled you with love? He's embracing me. Mm -hmm. Very good. Does Michael have anything else to say to you today? It says be brave. Mm -hmm. Don't worry. I'm... I'm finally... on the path to doing what I'm supposed to do. He's proud of me. Because I've... Uh, he's laughing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because as much as my stubbornness works against me, it's also helped me. Mm -hmm. Because I've been tenacious about awakening and opening up my understanding of why I'm here. Mm -hmm. I'm still learning, but he's, he said I'm doing a good job. Wonderful. Who else works with Michael? Who are your other guides? Uh, I don't know his name. There's, there's one that's kept me safe mm -hmm. on Earth, who's been there when I'm in physical danger, mm -hmm. and um, has removed things from my path, um, and also helped me see some things. I've got some downloads. I, I shut them down for a while, but they're starting to come back. Mm -hmm. I shut them down because I couldn't cope mm -hmm. with that. And I kind of uh, stopped listening to him. Are okay. you ready now to listen? Yes. Mm -hmm. So I'd like for you to connect with that guide. And ask that guide what advice he has for you today. Keep listening. Mm -hmm. Trust. And how will Diana know when this guide is around? He's always here. Mm -hmm. it is, is it the primary guide? Yes. Mm -hmm. Does that guide have a name? always wanted to find out and he hasn't told me. Mm -hmm. well, let's ask him now. Uh, what name does he like to use? <laughs> this can't be it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he said it's Leonard. Leonard. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's He's lying. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's not true. <laughs> mm -hmm. He said I'm not ready to know it. Can she call you Leonard? 
In the meantime? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Leonard. <laughs> Very good. Very mm -hmm. good. Do the guides have anything else to say before we speak with the higher self? I said, thank you, Alba, mm -hmm. for opening the pathway for her to be here. Because mm -hmm. she needed a little kick mm -hmm. in the butt. <laughs> <laughs> very good. Thank you very much. And now I'd like for you to take a deep breath in and let me speak with the higher self. Do I have permission to ask questions today? Yes. Thank you. Is uh, Diana on the right path, the spiritual awakening right now? Yes, of course. Mm-hmm. Why does she even ask that question? Because she doesn't trust. Mm-hmm. I keep telling her. She's doing better. She is. Yeah. Is it her mission to help people awaken and make the transition to the new earth? Yes, and she didn't know that for a long time. Mm -hmm. She just knew she was here for a purpose. How is she helping people awaken? The biggest thing is she's being a living example of it. Mm -hmm. And she is able to bring joy to people and inspire them because she does things. She doesn't just talk about them. And it's her actions that inspire people. If she can do it, they can do it. Mm -hmm. So she's asking them to follow her? Yes. Her, her example? Yes, but in a gentle way. Mm -hmm. it's, not a, it's not a direct question. It's that when she trusts and just does these things. People see it and it's like a magnet and it brings joy to her and so it brings joy to them too. Mm -hmm. And all humans deserve joy on earth. They can do it. Does she have enough joy? in her life. She doesn't think she does, but it's there. Mm -hmm. Can you give she, her examples of that? Yeah. She covers stuff up and she holds on to the pain. And she needs to let that go. Again, it's a trust issue. Mm -hmm. And yes, there are people you can't trust, but you have to just go and do it anyway. Mm -hmm and trust that anyone who wants to harm her, they're harming themselves instead. Mm -hmm. That she's, uh, you, you, you can't harm her soul. Mm -hmm. Her soul is protected. So tell me about how she's gonna help people evolve. She's already started. Mm -hmm. she, she's been doing uh, mm -hmm. retreats. But that was just so she could connect and find the right soul to partner with her on, um, on this journey. Mm -hmm because she needed help and she's always trying to do things alone mm -hmm. and it can't be done alone. So can you tell her about this journey that she's on right now? Well, she's going to be awakening with everybody else. Everybody's in different stages. Mm -hmm. Some people have started, some people haven't started, but she will inspire them to start. But she herself is on this journey too. She's one of them. Mm -hmm. And and she's gathering with another soul. She's gathering 
other souls together mm -hmm. to help each other awaken in Sedona. Mm -hmm. Is this other it's, soul going to help fulfill yes. our soul's purpose? Yes, he's f more advanced. Mm -hmm. He's been awake for a long time, but he didn't know how or hadn't started to help other souls and Diana made him do it. Mm -hmm. Do they know each other? Uh, yes, now. Mm -hmm. uh, Did they know each other from different lifetimes? Yes. Mm -hmm. So what is the contract that they have in this time around? To spur each other on. Mm -hmm. Because each has been complacent. Mm -hmm. And each one has a different skill set and put together it's like a catalyst mm -hmm. the two souls together are catalyst to help accelerate the awakening mm -hmm. to the new earth can you tell diana about this new earth she's just learning mm -hmm. From your perspective, what do you say it will be for her? She needs to know. She needs to stop being afraid of it. She needs to know that we know how much she has, how hard she's worked. Even though she doesn't do things right all the time, but that's part of the human experience. Is to fail and get up and do something different. Mm -hmm. Try something different. As long as you keep trying and you keep moving forward and that you have a good heart that you love others and love yourself. You have to love yourself first. Mm -hmm. So what can she do to open herself up to receive more love? She needs to stop being so damn stubborn. <laughs> <laughs> she is stubborn and she holds on to her pain. I hear her say this too, and she needs to stop being a hypocrite. Mm -hmm. She says, you use your pain like a sword. You need to put that sword down. And know that you're worthy. You're as worthy of love as anyone else. We are all worthy. And there's plenty of love to go around. Has she been afraid to be loved? Yes. She's afraid it will go away. Mm. So she won't even start it because she's afraid she'll lose it? Yes. Mm -hmm. So what kind of attitude adjustment would you like to give her today about that? Well, she needs to know that love is there whether she wants it or not. And it's always there, and it's not going to go away. But love is not attaching yourself to somebody. Mm -hmm. It's not the earthly love that we think that's very limiting, the human Love is very limiting. It's a different kind of love, and it's better. 
need to trust that that it's a it's a much bigger than she is in her current human form. She knew it once. She knew it once. And I think that's what gave her the courage to go to Earth and be mm. part mm -hmm. of what she's going through. But she's not alone because there are millions who've done that. Mm -hmm. And there are more coming help. Can you give her a glimpse of what that love would feel like? She, um, she feels it when she meditates. Mm -hmm. Meditation is new to her, but she's doing a good job. I mean, you can't do a good, you can't do a bad job meditating, mm -hmm. but you can go deeper with your practice. And that's, she feels it when she meditates. Mm -hmm. How often should she be meditating? She really should do it when whenever she feels like it. Mm -hmm. she, she does it every day, but I think she can do more. Mm -hmm. when she, she says that when she meditates, she sees something purple. Yes. What is that? That's one of her guardians. Ah. I don't, it's not Michael. She wanted to know who it was. Is it Leonard? <laughs> <laughs> no. No. Leonard's more grounded. Mm -hmm. No, I don't know who it is. It doesn't, the name doesn't matter. Okay. She likes the color though. So when this guide comes to her during meditation, does it have a role to fill? Right now, it's about expanding her consciousness and the color helps her feel helps her focus sometimes it's about focus although sometimes the color really expands and it becomes an embrace when she really needs it mm -hmm. but it's helping her trust that there's more than just the three-dimensional existence mm -hmm. on Earth. And as she deepens her practice, she will be able to expand within that. And it's part of her learning how to teach others because teaching others, helping people awaken, it's not just about earthly teaching, it's about understanding how to communicate what's beyond to people who have not yet awakened, but who want to. First step is wanting to and becoming aware. And, and each person has to find what works best for them. For Diana, she is drawn to color. So that works well for her and she's also affected by music and sound and she is opening or ex 
expanding her consciousness through sound meditation with crystal healing bowls mm -hmm. and the Tibetan bowls, but the crystal in particular, which is, she's beginning to understand that uh, sound is matter and waves just like color is and light are waves mm -hmm. they're related and it expands and she's healing herself she's healing herself at a cellular level with the bowls with the crystals and she always wanted to bring music to people, but she didn't understand that that was not the pathway. But she is going to be bringing healing, the sound healing to people who are awakening, to those who respond to the vibrations. Mm -hmm. So that's part of her mission here in yes, life? Mm -hmm. Yes. Her purpose? Yes, and she has other people who have, who are bringing opportunity to her mm -hmm. to do this. So this is part of her purpose too? Yes. Mm -hmm. Good. So she now knows that the sound is a very important one. Yes. Who's helping her with that? Does she have a guide that's helping with this? That's a good question. That's a good question. Mm -hmm. I haven't revealed that to her yet. Mm. But yes, she she does. She has a guide specifically for the sound? Yes. Mm -hmm. Did she know this guide from a different lifetime? Yes. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. yes. Did they do this before together? Yes. <laughs> mm -hmm. So this is something that's her expertise. Yes, another musician. Uh huh. Yes. Can you show her that lifetime? No. No. Okay. It was very dark. Oh, okay. Very good. No. Are they? Are there any particular crystals that she should be working with, in yes. particular? She she has quite a few. Mm hmm. The um, rose quartz is helpful, mm -hmm. and she, she has some selenite that she's just started using. She feels the vibrations very strongly, and she, she's feeling them right now in her hands. Mm -hmm. And. Um, there's a beautiful pale blue one mm -hmm. that she likes. Um, so, uh, so, uh, I'm trying to remember the name. But that one helps her stay connected to her guides. Hmm. What is the rose quartz doing for her? It helps her trust that she has love in her life. Mm whether she wants to see it or not. Should we be using some rose quartz today? Yes. All right, would you allow me to put some on her heart? Yes, thank right. you. So I'm gonna put the rose quartz right on your heart here. and Let's have that begin opening that heart. Would you please activate that crystal for her? So that it starts opening that heart to love. Yes. Mm-hmm. You can feel the vibration. Okay. And while she's working with that crystal, she wanted to know if she was a star seed. Yes. <laughs> mm -hmm. She said that when she read the description, yeah. 
it fit her perfectly. Yeah. Well, she. It took her a while to figure it out, but mm -hmm. she wasn't supposed to know in the beginning. So, would you tell me what it entails being a star seed? Well, it's a certain mission. Mm hmm. But. Um, she had to volunteer for and <laughs> and um, it's a big responsibility because the star seeds who are most effective are the ones who have to go through the most pain in life on earth and it seems very cruel but yeah, you have to have the depth of human experience in order to understand what humans are going through and to be able to help them. Um, star seeds often feel very homesick. Mm -hmm. They want to go home, but they don't feel, they, they feel out of place on earth, and they don't know why. They always feel like they're searching for their home, and that the family that they're in is not their real family. And they have trouble connecting with people which is kind of ironic because <laughs> they came to Earth to connect with people to help them. Mm -hmm. But it's a learning process. I have to learn about the human experience first before you can connect. And you're connecting on a different level. You're connecting on a soul level, not on a flesh level. It kind of goes back to feeling the love because earthly love is very different from soul love. And that's what she beats herself up over. Mm -hmm. Does she, she yearn for that love? She yearns for it. Mm -hmm. Well, she thinks she yearns for the earthly love. She's learning how. She's learning how to let go of that, and it feels very sad. But in a lot of ways, to be able to let go of those attachments, and to know that there's a much bigger purpose, and that there is love, but it's different. It's very freeing. Mm -hmm. And it's easier. It makes the pathway easier. And, um, you know, in a, in a visual way, it's kind of like walking down a very narrow tunnel in the very beginning of life. And those tunnel walls are very hard, they unforgiving. But as you walk along, as, as long as you keep moving forward, those walls begin to open up and soften. And eventually, if you keep moving forward and you keep your heart open, keep your heart open. You walk out into the light and you begin to feel a different kind of love. And the mere fact that you walked down that narrow tunnel that was hard and cold the fact that you walked through it and you kept going and you didn't let anything stop you 
is inspiration for all the other souls who are walking through those tunnels too. Because as long as you keep going forward and you have a good heart, you will walk out into the light. And you will feel that love and you will be part of it. You will walk out onto a new earth and you will be able to feel the joy that you've longed for and that Now when you talk about this tunnel and going into the new earth, is this something physical or dimensional? It's dimensional. Mm -hmm. Are we going to be going into that dimension with our current body? No. Mm, okay. No. Our body is uh, just part of the human experience on mm -hmm. earth, mm -hmm. on the earth that we are, have now. And there are many different earths. There are many different earths, mm -hmm. and many different planes of existence. We get attached to this body, and there are things about it that we do need to honor. We need to take care of our physical bodies on earth to take into our bodies clean things, clean food and water and air nourish that body because that's our home right now and that's what keeps our souls uh, yeah there's not a human word for it mm. um, our, I don't it's it doesn't keep our souls safe our souls are safe anyway but it's what houses our souls right now mm -hmm. it's like a vehicle yeah it mm -hmm. is Although, <laughs> without this body, we have more movement. <laughs> <laughs> but, but it's part of being human. It's part of the human experience. And our universe is, that's the really remarkable thing. The universe is not just what's out in space and out in the sun and moon and stars. The universe is inside of us. The universe is our cells, our souls, our God self, our higher self is contained within the atoms of our bodies. Can you imagine that? It's quite a temple, isn't it? It is. It is so why absolutely do infinite. So why do people not take care of their bodies? Why do they trash this vehicle? Um, it's for a lot of different reasons. Mm -hmm. We feel a lot of pain. We're supposed to feel pain as part of the human experience. Mm. It sounds cruel, but it's part of our learning. Um, but um, it seems like many of these star seeds right now want to run their bodies right off a cliff and end it all. Yeah. Why is Di that? Diana wants to go home. Yeah. A lot. But she can't right now. What would you what would you say to those star seeds that are wanting to go home? They don't want to be here anymore. They're they just can't be here another more day. They keep waking up. Well for one it's selfish. Mm-hmm. And I understand it. And I know that they volunteered to come here. And you have to complete your mission before you can go home. But when you've fulfilled your mission, there's no better feeling than having helped other souls, other humans, and even helping other star seeds. Mm -hmm. Um, the human body is very limiting and mm -hmm. that's something that everyone needs to be aware of. It's, re it's a remarkable thing and yet it's very limiting within the three dimensions. So what you have to learn, what you have to understand is that 
ultimately we are not trapped in the three-dimensional body and even though we're here still on earth fulfilling our missions you can take a vacation <laughs> <laughs> you can through meditation through your dreams mm -hmm. through your voice through the beautiful earth is earth is very beautiful to be able to go someplace and then connect with nature. Take your shoes off. Put your feet on the ground. Walk in nature. Listen to the animals. They're talking to you. Stop and listen to them. Talk to them. They understand they're part of all of this. You've closed your ears and your mind. You need to let yourself take a break and see the beautiful colors and sing, sing, <laughs> sing. If you have a voice, sing and use your talents to connect. Use your talents to connect. They will take you to the fourth and fifth dimensions, even though your body is, you're in the human body in the third dimension. It doesn't mean that you can't tap into the fourth and fifth dimensions. You can. You can. You talked about briefly about dreams, about going somewhere else on dreams. Yes. And Diana says that her dreams are very limited. Yes. They're not vivid. Very frustrating. Yeah. Can you tell her yeah. why? Part of it's because uh, she has a lot of pain in her body. Mm -hmm. um, it's from... Uh, muscular tension mm -hmm. that's built up over many years and so her body is keeping her from experiencing that mm -hmm. um, she started to uh, take care of her body better in mm -hmm. recent years through yoga her diet is very good but she needs to eat less meat mm -hmm. she stopped eating pork recently which is a step forward Mm -hmm. But she needs to, um, she needs to either s eat less meat or stop eating meat. Um, she's using um, essential oils now, which are helping her, in particular uh, Palo Santo mm -hmm. and sandalwood. Mm -hmm. And she's using um, a diffuser now, and she's allowing her herself to have some physical pleasures that are good for her mm -hmm. as opposed to physical pleasures that sometimes are not <laughs> um, and um, she um, is realizing that she doesn't need to feel guilty about taking care of herself so she takes the vacations that she didn't use to. Mm -hmm. And she's learning to trust. I, I think that's part of it. Mm -hmm. Are those uh, muscles, aches and pains, were they messages for her? Y yes. Um, it's, she's using massage to kind of get rid of some of that, mm -hmm. which is helping, but she um, takes on the worries of the world, and she always has since she was born on this earth, and granted, that's part of her mission. But gathering people's pain is one thing. Yeah, she holds on to it. But do we need to begin flushing that pain? Yes. All right. She needs to let it go. All right. So can we begin today with that image of her taking all of those pains from people and at the end of the day, throwing them all down the toilet and flushing yes. them? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's give it all to Gaia. Yeah. All right. So I'd can bury like, it. Uh -huh. So I'd like to ask Diana now to see that visualization as she absorbs all of that pain from those that she encounters with non-physically 
to just, at the end of the day, she can either stick her hands under the sink and flush all of those pains down the sink or down the toilet or in the shower. Anywhere where she will have water being taken down back to, to Gaia for healing. Can we do that? Yes. Very good. And can I ask now, while we're talking about the subject, to call in Archangel Raphael and begin the healing in her body using his ray of healing? And also I'd like to call in someone who uses a color that she likes, Saint Germain, with the purple flame to work with her to start eliminating some of these, some of this discomfort that she's feeling. And if you would, please describe for me what they're doing. They're, they're taking away... Um, I, the migraine that I've had all day. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and some neck pain on the left side. And they're teaching me how um, not to take that in. Not just about letting it go, but just not bringing it into my body. Mm -hmm. Let me know when we continue, can continue on with the next question. Oh. Oh, that's good. Very good. She says she's always longed to have a soulmate and companion, but she spent most of her life alone. Is this because she needs to awaken and learn more love herself? Or is it because her solitude is meant to serve a higher purpose? She doesn't make good choices. Mm. She chooses people who don't deserve her. It's because she wants to be loved too much. She needs to learn how to trust that if it if it's meant to be, it will be there. Mm -hmm. And not to be anxious about it. She wants things to go too quickly, and so she spoils them. Mm. She needs to just do her work. If love is supposed to come to her, it will. All right, good. Is that message for everyone too? Yes. Mm -hmm. Just let it happen? Yes. Mm -hmm. Good. But it's already there. <laughs> Good. She said that uh, souls often stay together through many different lifetimes. And for example, her maternal grandmother, Aura, <laughs> she left this plane before she was even born, never got to meet her. And they're very much alike. It seems as if they may have known each other before. Did she have a relationship with her? Yeah. Can you tell her about that? <laughs> well, I laughed before when we talked about um, her playing, um, you know, doing the sound vibration, sound mm -hmm. healing together mm -hmm. yes. with another soul 
and it's Aura. Ah. <laughs> she didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> She's encouraging her. Good. Now, why did Aura leave so early? She felt too much pain on Earth. It was the same thing? Yeah, she felt trapped. Mm -hmm. She was very gifted, and um, she didn't feel like she was able to share her gift. Was she a starseed? Ah, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so she checked out with that without giving yeah. it a chance, huh? Well, she did okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. She's still learning. She is. Yeah. Does Aura have any message for her today? Yes. She says, keep up the good work. Good. You can't go home yet. You can't go home yet. Good. Is Aura guiding her in any way with the sound healing? Yeah. You know, um, this is this is an opportunity for her to come back in a way. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So when Diana works with the sound healing, can she call on her grandmother to help her as a team? Yes. In fact, she's already there. She is. She yeah. just didn't know it. She didn't know it. Good. Very good. So I'd like to thank her grandmother Aura today on her on yeah. her behalf for, for helping. She's very her. proud of her. Very good. Well, what about her mom? Her mom passed away in January, yeah. and their relationship was very complicated. Yeah. Why did that? Why did they have that type of relationship? Ah, oh, fear. Mm-hmm. Her mother was very fearful of everything. Very angry too. She was very mm -hmm. angry at her mother for committing suicide. Mm-hmm. And she would never let that go. Um, How is she today? How is Donna today? She's at peace. She is. Has she gone to the light? Yes. Mm -hmm. Does she have any message or is she still in a resting place today? She's resting. She, she is. She had... She... Uh, She was pretty beaten up. Mm -hmm. So she'll be resting for a while? Yes. Mm -hmm. After a person rests, after a soul rests, what do they do afterwards before they come back to Earth? She needs to learn. Mm -hmm. she, um, she needs to find some joy. And, and learn how not to let things attach to her because mm -hmm. uh, she held on to her pain all the time mm -hmm. like it was going to keep her safe but all it did was hurt her did diana learn that from her yeah well yeah mm -hmm. but not as much uh, she was Diana's better at letting it go. Okay. And she would be... Because she's aware. Oh, okay. But her mom was not. No. Diana's been aware of it since she was a child. Okay. Good. Good. Would you tell her about her cats? Um, she feels as if some of them have been her guardians. Is that possible? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Tell her about them. They're, they're earthly beings. Um, but they have deep understanding of human souls. Mm -hmm. All animals do. Humans are also animals, but we detach ourselves and we lose the ability to understand at that deep level. But our anim other animals um, can some have more of an ability to understand at a deeper level and provide um, a kind of love that helps keep humans on a pathway moving forward. Mm. 
they also have the ability to keep the human body healthy. Really? Do they take yes. something from us? No. They help to stimulate certain chemicals in our brain that are beneficial to our health. Hmm. How do they do that? Is this vibration? Yes. Okay. Yeah. It's um, a type of love and um, people, domestic animals, people have to, are responsible for taking care of them. Mm -hmm. And that responsibility makes us look outside of ourselves. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's, it's that love that is yes. not the human love. Right. It's more of a spiritual love. Yes. Because cats can be pretty annoying sometimes. Uh, <laughs> uh, it depends on the cat. <laughs> and it depends um, on how the human responds to it. Mm -hmm. They can teach us. Mm -hmm. And cats in particular can teach us patience. Mm -hmm. They can try our patience. but. A soul, but we, but we love that them. Is, a soul that is expanding is willing to let go of self and love the cat anyway. That's right. Just like we should love people. Yes. Mm -hmm. So they're teaching us. People we don't like mm -hmm. teach us. Yes. And when you're able to let those things go, it's... It um, helps our soul develop, mm -hmm. and those are the things that Diana needs to learn, and she knows. She knows. She's. These are the things she needs to help other people learn. Is that right now? What is happening on Earth? There's a great deal of fear and hatred, and the um, internet is helping to feed that. And the double-edged sword is that the internet is also helping others to awaken and expand our consciousness. So we have to learn not to post the hatred and the fear. Mm -hmm. because that feeds it and it makes it grow and people who feed those things and make them grow are not going to be able to make the transition mm -hmm. okay uh, so but, even though they think that they're being helpful they're not they're not mm -hmm. it's whole it's justifying their pain okay they need to let it go okay part of their pride and it's divisive mm -hmm. and they need to let it go very good would you do a body scan on her please yes. let's see if we have anything that we need to take care of today yes what do you find She has a lot of muscle tension. Mm-hmm. What's causing that? She tries to protect herself. Mm hmm Can we release that, please? Yeah, she doesn't need to. Let's release that. And tell me when you're done. Okay. Very good. You see anything else? She has some issues around menopause. Mm hmm What's causing those issues? Um, it's the um, 
breakdown of the body. Mm -hmm. She's um, learning how to deal with them in a mm -hmm. natural way. She needs to just keep doing that. One of them is to use her sacral chakra uh, crystal bowl. The crystal bowl? Yeah, the sacral. Will that sound help? It will help? Yes, it'll help heal her. Mm -hmm. Good. What else do you see? She's very healthy. Good. Do we have any hitchhikers today? <laughs> yeah. Mm hmm. Are they willing to go home today? Yes. Mm -hmm. Where do we, where do we find some of these folks? Do they want to speak they're or do they? Their heart. Okay. How many do we have in our heart? I think there are two. Two of them. All right. Would you allow me to speak with one of them today? Yes. Very good. So I'm going to put my hand over the heart and bring that energy up, 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 and you can express yourself now. Are you male or female energy? Female. Female. What may I call you? Jessica. Jessica, how long have you been there with Diana? Since she was a baby. And why are you there, Jessica? Protecting her heart. Mm. How old are you, Jessica? I'm ancient. You're ancient. Why have you attached to her heart? make her feel fear. Mm. What happened to your heart, Jessica? Somebody broke it. Mm -hmm. Tell me what happened. He cheated on me. Mm -hmm. What year is that, Jessica? 18. 1861, mm-hmm. And what happened? They left, and I, I was left alone. Mm-hmm. So after your body died and you transitioned out of it, where did you go? I stayed. Mm-hmm. And how did Diana find you or you find her? She was passed down. I was passed down. Mm -hmm. From whom? From generations. Mm -hmm. So you've been in her family? Yes. Mm -hmm. Is it in her DNA or is it in her soul? It's in her soul. All right. So what can we do today to help you here, Jessica? I don't want to go. Well, I know you don't want to go, but you seem to be in this pain forever. Can I help you with this a little bit today? Yes. Would you allow that? Yes. All right. So Jessica, I want you to look inside of your own heart. Tell me what it looks like. It's empty. It's empty. All right. But you'll find that even though it's empty, there's this little spark of light there. Tell me when you find it. I see it blue. Mm-hmm. The night sky. Mm hmm I want you to go ahead and start expanding that light, Jessica. Expand it to where it is big as you are. Tell me how that feels as you expand that light. I feel full. Mm hmm Look at your heart now. How does that heart look? It's purple. Mm hmm Is that a good thing? Yes. Mm hmm So Jessica, now that your heart is full, I'd like for you to go into a past life where you know, where you knew this person who betrayed you into a different life and see what you did to him. I 
couldn't love him. Why is that? He wasn't right for me. Mm -hmm. You rejected him? Yes. All right. Do you understand where this betrayal came from? Yes, he was mad at me. He was mad at you. So you started it off, Jessica. Can you accept that responsibility? I just want to move forward. All right. But first we need to have you forgive yourself for that. Can you forgive yourself? Yes. All right. I'm going to put my hand on your chest, Jessica. And I want you to give me all of that pain that you've been holding for so long, now knowing that this was just something where you reversed your roles. You did it to him and he did it to you, but you carried it throughout eternity, didn't you? Give it to me. We don't need that anymore. This is just something you've been carrying for too long. Give it to me, and I'll give it to the universe. And tell me when I have all of that. Do I have it all? Yes. All right, let me take that and send it to the universe. What would you like to put instead, Jessica? Let's put lots of light in there. Feel that light going in there. Feel your heart being grown to tremendous proportions with love and light. See how that heart is full of love and light. And I'm going to touch your forehead and just seal that in. How do you feel now? Oh, lighter. Lighter. Are you ready to go home now? Yeah. Very good. So go ahead and start taking all of your energy from her heart. And we're going to ask the angels of the light to surround you. And what do they tell you, Jessica? I said it's okay. It's okay to go home. So yeah. let's go through the temp, the crown of her head. Feel yourself going through the crown of her head. And Archangel Michael is there to escort you home. And tell me when you get there, who is there to see you? My tribe. Mm, your tribe is there. Very good. May the light of the universe always accompany you. Thank you very much. Now let's find out what the other energy is that it's in the heart. Let's bring it up, 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 up. Good afternoon. Are you male or female energy? Male. Male. What is your name? Angry. Angry. Angry, how long have you been in that heart? Fifty years. Fifty years. More. More. Angry? Are you, have you ever had a body or are you a thought form? I'm a thought form. Mm-hmm. Who created you? People. People created you? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And how did you find your way into her heart? She was wounded. She was wounded. She was just a baby, wasn't she? Yes. Mm-hmm. So what it, was it that attracted you to her? She needed something mm -hmm. to protect her. And that would be angry? Yes. Mm -hmm. And how have you been serving her all this time? Fulfilling my function. Mm -hmm. As anger? Yes. Uh -huh. Have you been keeping her from finding love? not clear. What have you been doing for her? Defending her. Defending her. Okay. So, Angry, let me speak now with Diana. Diana, now we know that we have a thought form there called Angry. Is this something that you want to keep in there? No. All right. So, rather than keeping it, we can transform it. Because it doesn't have a body. It's something that's been created there. Mm -hmm doesn't need to go home, but it can be transformed. What would you like to transform angry into? Give it a new role. I just want it to go. Well, but it can't go, but it can be transformed to help you. Courage. What would you? Well, okay. So let's find out from angry if he's willing to do that. Angry, would you be willing to be transformed into courage? All right, so tell Diana how you can help her by being, 
having her with these courageous qualities. I'll help you understand that it's okay. All right. So, angry, let's start doing the transformation now. Let's eliminate all of that anger and begin transforming yourself into courage. And tell me when you are done. Very good. So now, Courage, that you are with a new role, what would help you help Diana even more? What can we do for you today to help her? Help her trust. Mm -hmm. Are you going to help her with that? Yes. Very good. Now, since you are now Courage, I'd like for you to look at the rest of the body and see if there are any other hitchhikers that need help today. Jealousy. Jealousy. Where is that jealousy hiding? In the heart. All right. So we've had quite a few of you in the heart. That crystal is going to be pumping a lot of energy mm -hmm. in there. So let's bring jealousy up, 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 up. Good afternoon. Jealousy, are you male or female energy? Female. Female. Did you ever have a body? Yes. Mm hmm Tell me about that. How old are you? Twenties. Twenties. What is your name? Uh, Alicia. Alicia? Alicia, how old are you? 25. 25, okay. And how old was Diana when you found her? 11. 11. What, was make, what made her so vulnerable? The kids picked on her. The kids picked on her, okay. So, how is it that you lost your body? In what way? Oh, accident. Mm-hmm. How did you get hurt? It was a car accident. Mm-hmm. Tell me more. It was very violent. Mm-hmm. Where did you get hurt? My neck. Your neck? Mm-hmm. I cut my head off. Get your head off. So have you been causing her any symptoms of this? Her neck hurts all the time. Okay, what else? I make her feel like everybody else wins, but she can't. Mm-hmm. Is that how you feel? Yes. Mm-hmm. So I want you to go ahead back to that body, and I want you to see that body after the accident. Tell me what it looks like. Limp. Limp. All right, I want you to use now the power of your mind and of the light, and I want you to go ahead and begin healing that body, seeing that neck being healed again, seeing that blood coming back into your body, seeing that body completely intact. Tell me how that feels. It's good. It feels good. Now that your body is intact, are you ready to go home? Mm -hmm. All right. So I wanted you to go ahead and pull all of that energy that you have from her body. Pull it all out. You don't need to be there anymore. And what would you like to tell Diana before you leave? Sorry. Mm -hmm. Diana, what, you, what would you like to tell her? All right, so I'm going to ask the angels of the white light to come and surround you and tell me what do they say to you. It's going to 
going to be okay. Okay. How does that make you feel? Um, good. Good. Yeah. All right. Good. So I'd like for you to go through the crown of her head. Archangel Michael is there. And he's going to take you and escort you right to home, right to the light. And tell me if there's anybody there waiting for you. My friends. Mm -hmm. How does it feel to be home? It's nice to see them. Mm -hmm. May the light of the universe always accompany you. Thank you very much. And now I'd like to ask Archangel Raphael to put that beautiful light into her heart to where all of these entities were residing and start healing it completely. And I'd like to ask the higher self if there are any other hitchhikers that need attention today or if they would like to leave now and go with the light. Those were the big ones. Those were the big ones. All right. Can we begin taking care of the other ones today, if there are any others? Are there any others that you see? No. Very good. Thank you so much. So while Archangel Raphael is filling that space with his beautiful light, I'd like to ask the higher self, what is it that you would like to tell Diana today? She needs to trust that she is doing the right thing. Mm -hmm. She needs to trust and be selfless. Don't worry about what you're going to get out of anything that you're doing. Just do it. Just trust that you're doing the right thing as you're fulfilling your mission. You're helping people in a way that they can't do on their own. Very good. Do you have a message for anybody else? Yes. Mm -hmm. Keep moving forward. Everyone needs to open their eyes and awaken. If you're a person of pure heart and you start to awaken, you will come to the new earth. Don't be scared. Let other people help you. Very good. Are we complete today? Yes. Thank you very much. Welcome back. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. How do you I've feel? been crying. I've been crying and crying and crying. It's good. It's a yes. You're, oh. You've been flushing. Oh my flushing God. your eyes out. <laughs> so, wow. how was it? Oh, it was great. How long do you feel you're on this journey? Let me take the I don't know. <laughs> crystals from you. Let me take all this That's and I'm gonna great. replace it with some shungite. Oh. Just have us just stay there and let's let's ground oh, you a little bit wow. with these shungite. Thank you. Hold on. So how long did you feel that you were? I don't know. Oh, those are great. I don't They're great. vibrating. How do you feel? Wow. Mm. Um, well, I, I Just, know typically yes. it goes two hours, but it doesn't yes. feel like it had 45 minutes, yeah. maybe. It's yeah. two hours. Two hours, wow. <laughs> wow. Wow, what these do you are remember? just so powerful. Aren't they? Yeah. yeah. When I picked those up at the store, I could feel the vibrations going right oh, through me. Oh, great. Shungai, I'll have to Shungai, get some. yeah. Wow, Shungai. So what do you remember? Everything. Yeah? I do. I do. Mm -hmm. How did it feel to be it's hypnotized? Great. Oh, it's wonderful. It, um, it's very, well, it's relaxing, but um, it's just kind of goes mm -hmm. by itself. Mm -hmm. And um, you're so good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
wow, it'll take a while to process all of this. Yeah. But it feels Is this good. something you want to keep private or you want to share this? If you think this is some value in it, I'm okay to share it. It's up to you. Yeah. No, we can share it. I don't think there was really anything personal in there. No, we can share it. I'm okay. open. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, wow is right. So tell me, tell me what your experience was. Boy, I mean, it's um, it's very comfortable. It's very safe feeling, and uh -huh. and, um, and uh, it feels like you've been given permission. Mm -hmm. Yeah, major. Yeah, you because know, <laughs> I cried through the whole thing. Uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> and I do remember everything. I know some people don't, but yeah. I do remember. And, but it's like you're kind of just floating in a haze in a little bit. And, wow. And it just, um, it, it just goes on its own. Mm -hmm. Well, it was, it was a little unusual at the beginning with that little boy on the cliff yeah. and the Things mist. Things were real clear to me in the Yeah, but then, but then it's really started getting a little bit. Yeah, and it's, and it's interesting because it really digs deep into the issues yeah. without really thinking about it it just goes there yeah uh, because that's what it's supposed to do mm -hmm. yeah. so what expectations did you have i was boy, i was trying not to have expectations <laughs> i i didn't know if i would just totally black out and not remember anything uh -huh. or if i wouldn't go under yeah but i just had to keep telling myself trust my higher self mm -hmm. that that everything is going to play out as it's supposed to which is kind of like life. Yes, you know, it is. It's supposed to, you know, you, you have to just trust and let things go. Yeah. I'm going to start crying again. <laughs> <laughs> good crying is good. It is good. good. I, I have trouble crying, so this is good this for is me. This is really good. Yeah, I so, don't cry much. <laughs> so th there is something behind the scenes about you being here also. Oh, yeah. So tell How everybody. What should I say? Yeah, <laughs> tell everybody what, what's what plans you have because you have we've talked in the in this in the session about you awakening people yeah. so what plans do you have coming up in the future well um, I, I've connected with another soul mm -hmm. who uh, probably a lot of uh, your um, fans yes uh, the viewers would, uh, viewers would already know um, Gary number 81 number 81 <laughs> I didn't know his number but I, it's it's amazing. He's touched so many souls. Yeah. He's really helped a lot of people. Yes. And Gary and I, and Alba, are doing are doing a retreat in Sedona. Um, it's the week before Thanksgiving, November thirteenth mm -hmm. through the seventeenth, in a beautiful, beautiful uh, Mago. Uh, retreat center in the desert where they have vortexes mm -hmm. um, and um, and Alba's going to be there um, doing some hypnosis sessions mm -hmm. and, and we have um, um, Tabash uh, Blair, uh, Blair, Blair Styra from New Zealand, from Zealand is coming and he is a great channel He's Absolutely. amazing, he's funny, he's entertaining, and yes. he uh, gets to the point. <laughs> yes, he does. And we also have Dr. Christine Breeze, who is, um, um, she, she has a metaphysical university and also an ayahuasca retreat center in Ecuador. Mm -hmm. And she's going to be there, and Gary's going to be there. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'll be there. Um, and we hope you'll join us. It's mm -hmm. going to be a life-changing experience for all of us. Yes. Um, and it's going to be very joyful, and it's a, a chance for people to gather. If you feel out of place, come. You won't be. You, you will find your tribe there. Mm -hmm. um, you will find love. It's, it's all about learning how to awaken, how do you see behind the veil, mm -hmm. um, and it's going to be very loving and supportive, and the food is going to be amazing. Yeah. <laughs> 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 and it's just, please come, it, it's just going to be life-changing, and we hope that we can help be mm -hmm. part of that for yeah. you. Um, 
And we have another person that will be there is Michelle Walling. Michelle Walling, yes, Michelle Walling's coming. We're very excited. Yes, about so that. she'll be going into another hypnosis uh, session. I'll be doing another one for her. She had a lot of information on in her video. Yeah. Yeah, so. she had one of her shows recently was just fascinating about the new earth also. Yes, yes. Yeah. So I yeah. hope that we will see you there. And uh, if you want to sign up for a hypnosis session um, in Miami, you can go to my website, albawyman.com. I do travel all around the world. Like right now, we are in Los Angeles. <laughs> and uh, I'll be traveling more. But if you want to see where I'm going to next, uh, just sign up on my out of town page to get the newsletters. There's a lot of people there. Uh, as soon as you find out that I'm going to a city near you, sign up immediately because they get booked up like that. And I should add too, if you want to find us for the retreat, it's called the New Earth Retreat and we're at miaterramar.com mm -hmm. and yes. you can find us on Facebook yes. at, um, at New Earth Retreats. Perfect. So I hope to see you sometime soon. Until the next time, thanks for watching. Thanks. Bye. Bye. <laughs> I get that hug hug. Thank you. I got hug hug. Mm.